What's up everybody, Sir LT Giles here. And first of all, I'm going to promote the Hypes Watch has a Facebook page. Big Game James, James Michelle, he created it while we all chatting and stuff in a Google Hangout. And big ups to Big Game James, taking care of business, him and Ann, Sweet YFT. Anyways, so this is going to be my top three moments in the series, specifically the show so far. Now, I say so far because the show's not over, but let's start it off. So, my third moment is when Jamie saves Brienne from the bear pit. Not only in the show was it great, but in the book, you know, Brienne goes back to it several times in her mind, and it really, I really found it, found it very awesome when Jamie did, he had, the man had one hand, and he cared for Brienne, and he went back there and saved her, and argued with Locke, you know, it should have been Vargo Hope, but in the show, it's Locke, and, you know, it's awesome, man, it was just an epic and noble thing Jamie did, and I'm not a Jamie fan, you know, I mean, I grew to like him as the books went on, and the show went on, you know, but... Yeah, that was my number three moment. Number two, by far Tyrion's trial. Now, Peter Dinklage nailed it. I tweeted the scene recently. It was a clip from the Game of Thrones channel. And, you know, freaking it's like, in a lot of movies, like, all right, so if any of you guys have seen The Shawshank Redemption, with um Tim Robbins and in the beginning of the movie he's everything he's saying is making sense but nobody cares nobody cares because he's a guilty man and they just deem him but that's the thing we all knew Tyrion was innocent we all knew he was innocent and we put all these false witnesses and in the show man when he just goes off and he says I did not kill Joffrey Baratheon but I wish that I had Watching your vicious bastard died gave me more glory or glorification than a thousand lion horse. Oh, and then when he tells Tywin that I want a trial by combat and he just looks the sh the stare down. Peter Dinklage should have got an Emmy for that. It's funny because he got an Emmy for last season and I felt he should have got one for that. But maybe that's, you know, justification because, you know, other shows or whatever. Well, anybody who truly knows Sir L.T. Giles, I'm a Rob Stark fan. And my number one moment is in season one when Great John Umber deems him King of the North. And he says, why should we let foreigners rule us? We ruled each other for thousands of years. This is only... Oh, no, no, he says, well, they know the Whispering Wood. And he spits and he says, this is the only king I mean to bend the knee to. King of the North! And everybody, King of the North, all the bannermen, you know, that was my number one moment, my top three moments so far. Like I said, so far, I mean, there might be any more no, more moments coming up and maybe when the series is over, I'll have more top moments, but so far, these are my top three. I really was inspired by Rob Stark. And I truly believe people that never read the books were inspired by him too. You know, the show does a very good job of making us fall in love with Rob Stark. And, you know, if you never read the books, you never see what, what happens, <laughs> what, what comes, you know. And I really didn't see it coming till the chapter one of the books. The chapter where Grey Wind attacks that frame. I knew something was off, man. I knew something was off. And, you know, but that's my top moment when Rob Stark becomes, when Grey John Number declares Rob Stark King of the North and they all just chant King of the North. My number one moment. Yes, Sir LT Jowls, and this is my top three moments show wise so far. Sir LT Jowls out.